Hi, in this lesson you will learn how to style a link and butt in CSS. So let us get started. In CSS, links and buttons can be styled with any property, color, background color, font, family. In addition, they can be styled differently depending on what state they are in. In CSS, we have four link states. Le the first one is link the style of the link before the user visited. Then we have visited, a link uh, the user has visited. Hover, link when the user mouse over it. Active, a link the moment it's clicked. Let me see this practically by adding color uh, for a link in the different states. So let me create a link. Now what we call it, visit our site. So the first state is link. So we can just use uh, the name of the tag or we can add here link, which is the state, the first state, and then let we add a color. For example, let me make it gold. The same thing, but this time the state will be visited. So instead of link, it will be visited. How do we make the color yellow? They let we create another one, this time for hover state, which means when the user mouse over the link. So the color, let we make it green, yellow. And the last state, active, which is the moment the user click the link. So this one, let me make it, for example, red. So here is the color of the link, which is gold. But when the mouse over the link, it will be green, yellow. And when we click, it will be red. Then now, because it's visited, so the color will be yellow. So now we can see the color is gold. Let we change the color so we can notice if there is any difference. For example, let we make it purple. It is still yellow because we have visited the link before, but the hover state still exists and also uh, the active state when we click the link. Nice. Now for each state, we can add any properties we like. We can add a background color, we can add a text decoration, any properties you want. So for example, here let we add a background color. Make it gold. Now let we make padding. Five pixels. Also let we add a border radius. Five pixels and to remove uh, the line let we add text decoration none so here is the link so here we can see the background color for the default state but the link is visited so because we don't have here a background color so now we can see the background color for the default state but if here we add a background color, for example, let me make it pink. So now 
The background color is for the visited state. Also, when we hover the link, let me add a background color. Green, yellow. And make color purple. And let me make the font size 50 pixels. And finally, for uh, the active state, let me make background color. Red like it is. Let me reload. So now we can see the visit state because it's a visit link. But when we hover, the background color will be green yellow. The color will be purple. And also the font size will increase to be 50 pixels. And the active state, when we click the link, the background color will be red. The same thing is button. But for button, we don't use visited and link states. So let me create a button. And the same thing, let me add the same properties. Except we don't use visited and link. So I will keep this the default. So it will be button. And we don't use visited. And here let me change this to be button. And here too. So here is the button. It has a background color gold. But when we hover the button, the background will be green yellow. Uh, the color will be purple. And the font size will increase to be 50 pixels. And when we click the button, uh, the background color will be red. Like the link. Finally, let me add some other properties for the button. Actually, if you search, you can find a lot of great looking buttons. So let me create something. So here for this button, let me make the background color white. And let me make border two pixels um, solid and the color E7, E7, E7. And here let me increase uh, the padding to be 10 pixels. And here for a button, we don't need text decoration. Instead, we can add cursor and make it pointer. So it will be a hand cursor when we over the button. As you see here, it's a regular pointer, not like the link. And for the hover state, let me make the background color uh, light gray. And the color, let me make it white. And we don't need font size. And we don't need active state. So here is the button. You can search and create something better than this. But the point in this lesson, how you can use the different types of states, especially for the link. The link state, visited state, uh, hover state, and active state. You have to keep this order. If you uh, make the active state before uh, the link state, you can't see the styles. So you have to keep this order. The first one link, then uh, visited, then hover, and finally active. So that's everything. I think it's an easy lesson, and you can practice it by yourself. And you can practice it and create something far better than I did. So if you need any help, don't hesitate to ask me. So good luck and see you in the next lesson.